Hi guys, thank you for keeping us company. My name is Kelly Wills and this is Fashion Hub. Once again, I am at Sasimion's shop and Sasimion's shop is shop number A9 and it is at Star Mall, that is along Tomboya Street, right opposite Posta. And Sasimion's shop basically deals with suits of every and any kind of event that you could think of and besides that they have shirts you know to wear with these suits and accessories for accentuating your suit and talk of accentuating we've been looking at different ways of spicing up your suit you know to uh, to make it from level zero to an a plus kind of level whereby it is popping it is looking amazing you look like you already know what you're all about now Last time we were looking at the lapel pins and the pocket square. Right now I want us to look at the ties, you know, the bow ties and the shirt as well. Now when it comes to the ties, I have quite a number of ties. I have quite a number of ties. When it comes to ties and you own suit or you want to adorn a suit, what you need to, you know, have in mind is the different kind of ties that are available we have striped ties we have plain colored ones we have florals we have one that i will put in the category of polka because what can you see the white dots right exactly that's what i'm talking about so when it comes to your tie what do you want to wear what kind of ties do you want so when it comes to your tie, just make sure you have these kind of you know the types you have the striped one the plain one and the floral and the polka just to give you a, the different varieties for your different kind of shirts that you are wearing now besides the ties we have other accessories which we call the bow ties these i'm very sure we all know the bow ties they are very cute these ones the bow ties and also we have another one this i'm very sure we've all seen a men wear these kind of you know uh, I, I, lapel bow tie I want to because we have the lapel over here and we have uh, this so this is the new version this is what is um, trending guys are ditching the bow ties for this kind of vibe and if you can remember in the old days you know the men used to wear you know this kind of bow tie whereby it is spread into the chest and uh, this is the advanced one it is it, it is available in gold this one is in silver it's all up to you you go for the one that suits you best now besides now after having all these now we go to the shirt this is now the part that i really want us you know to be very careful now when it comes to shirt we know shirt colors to be specific are different what i'm having over here as you can see this part the v when you close your buttons to the top to the last one when you're about to put on your bow tie or your tie now shirts are different they have different vibes when it comes to this part over here of the collar now what i'm having over here for example if i would pull down this shirt what i'm having over here is what we call the classic type of shirt classic simply means it is the normal this is where most of this is how most of the shirts look like because you know there's not much going on and then we have another one the cutaway i'm very sure you've come across the shirts whereby when you close your button the the flaps of your collars they are so far they are lying to you know they are leaving a very big space over here so far like that so that kind of shirt is called the color the color to be specific is called the cutaway and then we have other that they are so close to the button when you close your button they are so close it's like basically closing totally those are what you call the narrow ones then we have the after this we have one that is a little bit spread and we have one that is widely spread those now are the ones that we call the spread and the semi spread now the reason why i'm telling you about this is because of the knot of your tie now you, the knot of your tie matters a lot that's why i was giving you you know the idea of what shirts are all about the different types of shirt now when it comes to the knot of your tie make sure the knot of your tie complements the space in between when you close your shirt for example when you look at mine the end of the end of this knot and the end of this knot they lie within this v this is what i'm talking about but if the, my v was widespread i would have made my knot thicker or you know bigger and if my knot once my shirt once again the collar flaps were really close to themselves i would have had a very tiny knot so get that very clear so whenever you're tying your tie 
with the end combining it with a shirt make sure you put in consideration the size of your knot bearing in mind the size of the flap of the, of the collars now the other thing we need to look at when it comes to the shirt when we have different kind of shirts we have patterned shirts we have plain shirts like, just like the one i'm wearing now when it comes to shirts and your tie if your shirt is patterned make sure your tie is plain and if your uh, tie is patterned again make sure your shirt is plain it's a vice versa kind of you know complimenting but there is always you know uh, something to get away with because you know fashion it's all about playing with patterns playing with different designs now there are those type of you know ties that we can all you know get away with the floral ties now the reason I have picked these floral ties is because there's always something about the flowers the you know they are popping they are commanding they have presence now there are, i'm very sure you've noticed there are those people who will wear a patterned shirt in this case probably it is striped or it has something going on that is probably minimal now this is where probably a, sh a tie like this comes in now i'm very sure you will want to adorn this kind of tie with a shirt probably that is patterned or has stripes on and you want to slay the trick is all about make sure the colors are within you know the color will they are complementing each other they are not far off each other they are not throwing off each other you need to put this in consideration so as you look nice you look good the colors complement each other and you are within the bracket of you know those people who really understand what they are doing so guys, what do you think? I would really want your opinion, your comments, your questions using the handles right there below of how you go about when it comes to the knot of your ties, you know, bearing in mind the size of your flaps, of your collars, or do you prefer to go for the bow tie or the new versions of the bow ties that, that are coming with a lapel? What do you think? Right there share your comment that's all for now until next time remember fashion feeds style indoors keep watching